soft targets, undefended civilian targets, actually official policy. Uh, so yeah, they wanted to protect their airspace, but they knew that they better not get jet planes or the United States will go to Uh Anyway, that did knock the election off the front pages. Everything you read says the first election was in 1990. Uh, that one was okay, because they were battering the country in the dust to people and threatening them with worse the people more or less gave up and voted for the U.S. candidate, so that was okay, it's a real election. It's another illustration of the real hatred of democracy among the media circles. It's really a almost passion, uh, and it takes genius not to pursue. Uh, so that's what happened in 1984. What about Reagan? Reagan was a brutal thug and coward. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there are now books coming out by a liberal historian saying, well, it wasn't as dumb as we thought, he really knew what was going on, as we got. They don't understand that by saying that he knew what was going on, that's the worst condemnation you can make. <laughs> I mean, you could sort of say, okay, maybe he's a nice guy, didn't know what the heck was happening, so it's not so awful. But if he actually knew what was going on and had any role in planning it, then he's a major criminal. And in fact, he was not a popular president. You take a look back at the polls through the uh, 80s, you find it sort of normal popularity and nothing special. After he was out of office, and especially after, uh, there was a huge propaganda campaign developed to deify him. Uh, you remember, I'm sure, the uh, when he died, the performance in Washington. That was like Kim Il Sung. It was an embarrassment to the country. Uh, but he was turned into a as some kind of great, you know, the great genius, Stalin, uh, Kim Il-sung. It was an example of Kim Il-sungism. Uh, and yeah, he was made into kind of an icon. People have probably not forgotten what he was or how much, you know, the actual attitudes were towards him. So yes, he's uh, up on some pantheon. And every Republican candidate has to say, uh, you know, I'm the new Ronald Reagan. In fact, uh, Barack Obama the other day uh, Praised Reagan as uh, somebody who brought about change. Yeah, brought about change. You know, change the uh, millions of people into corpses, for example. Uh, but uh, he was also the most protectionist uh, president in post war American history. Otherwise, the whole country would have been brought, brought up by Japan in those years. Uh, the, uh, yeah, that's Ronald Reagan. And the uh, creation of the deity, it was astonishing. I mean, in, in a way, it's what, what they did with Petraeus on September 11th. Divine creature, you can't say a word against him. It's a, I mean, the PR industry, public relations industry, is very sophisticated. I mean, they know what they're doing. And uh, in fact, uh, they were, I don't know, for history, it was founded in the First World War. And it was inundated by Hitler, Hoda, Hoda. You know, they said, we're going to use the techniques of American commercial advertising to turn this country, and they did. They turned the most civilized country in the world into the worst barbarians in history, using uh, the kinds of commercial advertising that were uh, developed primarily here.